If you have heard of the fall of 1989 in America, then you must be interested in just how bad American TV was back then. Television, as we know it today, was still a long way off. Netflix and cable had yet to breathe new life into the medium with shows like Mad Men, Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, True Detective, and The Sopranos. So, let's take a trip down memory lane and see just how bad it was. One of the shows that premiered that fall was Totally Hidden Video. Basically a ripoff of Candid Camera, but without the charm. And let's not forget about Cops, the show that started it all. The novelty of seeing dirty crackheads getting chased by out-of-shape officers just never gets old. But it wasn't all bad. Quantum Leap, a quality program loved by many, made its debut that fall. And Prime Time Live, hosted by the sexy, savvy former co-editor of 60 Minutes, Diane Sawyer, brought us the latest news and stories. Living Dolls, a spin-off of Who's the Boss, starred none other than Halle Berry. And Life Goes On introduced us to Corky Romano, the Down Syndrome kid who brought wisdom and joy to his family and high school classmates. But not everyone was a fan. Booker, the replacement for Johnny Depp on 21, Jump Street, didn't quite hit the mark. And Free Spirit, a show about a witch housekeeper, failed to impress with its lack of edginess, intelligence, and humor. Sister Kate, Homeroom, Major Dad, and The People Next Door were all forgettable shows that didn't leave a lasting impression. Alien Nation, on the other hand, tried to tackle social commentary through sci-fi, but didn't quite succeed. The famous Teddy Z, a show that won a few Emmys but was unfortunately cancelled after 20 episodes, and Rescue, 911, featuring the one and only Shatner, were among the shows that had their moments. Chicken Soup, Peaceable Kingdom, Doogie Hauser, MD, and The Nut House all had their own unique appeal. While some enjoyed Doogie Hauser's coming-of-age story, others were drawn to the comedic genius of The Nut House, created by Mel Brooks and starring legends like Corman and Leachman. The Young Riders and Snoop were two shows that didn't quite make the cut, while Baywatch and Family Matters became wildly popular despite their lack of substance. And finally, we have Hardball and Mancuso FBI, two shows that failed to leave a lasting impression. When the best in the batch may be Doogie Hauser, you know there's a problem. So, as we journey through these old photographs, let's savor the history and reminisce about that era. The most exciting part is still ahead, so let's immerse ourselves in the images and remember just how bad American TV was in 89.